How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another video for Stream Elements and today I'm going to be talking about the loyalty settings. Now this is only going to apply for those of you who stream over on Twitch as this does not apply to anyone who streams on YouTube and Facebook as this option is not available within Stream Elements for those two platforms. So with the loyalty settings this is where you're going to be able to give a point system uh, a name basically so your currency name here I have mine as Creo bucks so people will type in explanation point Creo bucks to basically see what their account would be now you will be able to see here that it says this is a name and then this is 9 out of 30 so how many points should viewers get for watching I have it set for 5 so every so odd like seconds or minutes or whatever they'll get 5 bucks so what you can see on the side here, on the right hand side, it says here that viewers will receive five Creo bucks every 10 minutes. And you can set this up however high you want it to be. And then for subscribers, they'll get 20 for every 10 minutes. And this will be a subscriber multiplier. So when someone subscribes, they get four times the amount. So subscribers will get 400 bonus for people subscribing to the channel. And then for followers, it's 100. For people who tip, it will be 10 bonus points for tipping, and it's multiplied by the tipping amount. Now for cheers, that's also going to be 50 for that, and then bonus points for cheering, 100 bits. And then you can have bonus points for people who host. And then if you wanted to ignore certain users, you can then put those users' names down here. But this kind of gives you a good breakdown. So all cheers will all cheers will receive 50 Creo bucks for every 100 bits. And then for subscribers, all subscribers will receive 400 Creo bucks for subscribing, 100 for following, and then tips and so on and so forth. So that's how you set that up. Now for the leaderboard, this is where you'll be able to see everybody who's been really high up there on the points and it shows you who's been really loyal to the channel and who your regulars are and stuff like that. You can make it a public leaderboard. So with that, people can actually kind of take a look at it themselves and they can also see how they can receive more of the actual points and everything. You can give points. So if you want to give points to someone, you can give it a username and you can tell them how many you want to give. And you can also reset everything too, if you wish to. You can take a look at current, you can look at the all time. You can also look at watch time. So that way you can kind of get a, a good engagement on it. For the stream store, this stuff is so old. This, I'm surprised it's even there. But back when I had my old name of DHG, I had all these different things on here. So people would be able to use their points to be able to buy a shirt. Or they would be able to use it for maybe something like a dice roll. So like different things like changing my glasses where I wear funky glasses and stuff like that. So you can use these points for people to be able to do stuff and you can create items for your store. So if you want to create a brand new item, you can give it a stream perk. You can have a sound effect. You can have an all access list or a code list. So it says here that perks are redeemed manually by the streamer. Sound effects triggers instantly upon redeem. Access codes are automatically available to the redeemer on the stream element site so you can give it an item name you can give it a description how much it's going to cost what the quantity is for it if you want a cooldown a user cooldown for it and then you can also have a category cooldowns too so this is a pretty cool thing to have and it's something you guys can use as well now for contests Contests, you can, I, I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory for the, when it comes to the contests. Like, I, I don't need to go into too much detail on those. And then same thing with giveaways. Giveaways are the same way. Now, giveaways, as you can see, I've done a few in the past. And, you know, you can give it a title. You can give it a description. You can have an, an actual image for it if you want to or a video. And you can give everyone a ticket for free. You can send a confirmation when buying the tickets in the chat. It can be subscribers only. And then you can give your subscribers some luck if you have it set for everybody. But since people subscribe, maybe they get a little bit of an extra chance of winning and so on and so forth. And then once you have the giveaway finished, you can then draw the winners and it will tell you who the winner is for and everything. But that's pretty much how you set up all that type of stuff when it comes to the loyalty stuff. 
I definitely recommend tinkering with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and reach out to me in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. That way you can learn more about the technical side of streaming, which is what a lot of the content on my channel kind of kind of goes over. And I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next stream here over on YouTube. But thank you guys so much again for watching and you have a good rest of your day.